We are here today to inform each and every one of us residing within the Abuja Municipal Area Council that we intend to carry out an assessment assessment of all the properties located within the Abuja Municipal Area Council. The chairman would have done this by himself, but it is unavoidable absence because of an official assignment that is involving. And because of this, I had to stand in for him. We want to inform Nigerians within the Abuja Municipal Area Council that the council met and felt that there is need for us to know all the properties that we have within the Abuja Municipal Area Council. The last time this exercise took place was about eight years ago. And the purpose of carrying out this assessment is for us to be able to know what to budget for. We want to know all the buildings as far as AMAP is concerned, both residential, commercial, and any other purposes for which those buildings are within the Abuja Municipal Area Council. The purpose for this is to also ensure that security-wise, we are able to know where buildings completed and non-completed are located, and to also know what kind of structures and buildings are within a particular area. This will help us to ensure that we are able to budget properly for our people. That will enable us to know where we need to take new schools to, where we need to establish police posts, where we need to establish schools, where we need to bring in water, where we need to bring in roads. All of these will form the basis for which we are budgeting for 2025. Like our earlier said, the uh, AMAC bylaws give us the power to carry out this assignment every five years. It is expected that every five years, what I've just mentioned will be carried out. All the assessment of all properties within the Abuja Municipal Area Council need to be known by AMAC to enable us plan for all the areas that these properties are located. So, as I speak earlier, we're already three years behind schedule. And as such, it is better late than never. And that is why as council, we felt we should rise up to do what is right and the needful. And that is why, having gone through the council's approval, we felt there is need to let Nigerians know that this assignment is about to take off. As I speak to you, the council met and approved Mr. Ebuka, sorry, Ebuka and Co, a consortium of estate survey and values to take charge of this assessment. Like the introduction took place, most of us who saw him standing up knows him already. He is the one mandated by the Abuja Municipal Area Council to carry out this assessment. This assessment is to enable us to do so many things, like I earlier mentioned. And I want to use this opportunity to inform Nigerians that it is a criminal offense for you, an owner of property, to stop any of these men that are assigned to do this work to enter your premises. You are expected to open your premises for them to enter, to assess your premises and be sure of what kind of structures that are inside the premises. They have the right to take measurement, if need be, within that same premises. The bylaws of this council that is gazetted has given the Abuja Municipal Area Council the powers to carry out this assignment. And as such, we want to do it with a human face. That is why we are using this forum to inform the media, to inform Nigerians of this important assignment that will take off from tomorrow. We strongly believe that within this period under review, this assignment will go around in all the 12 wards. It's, it's going to take place in Karishi. It's going to take place in Orozo ward. It's going to take place in Karo ward. It's going to take place in Yaya ward. It's going to take place in city center. 
It's going to take place in Wuse Ward. It's going to take place in Guarimpa. It's going to take place in Gariki Ward. It's going to take place in Kabusa Ward. It's going to take place in Gui Ward. It's going to take place in Guagua Ward. It's going to take place in Joa Ward. That makes it the 12 Ward within the Abuja Municipal Area Council. And as such, we want to appeal to houses owners, shop owners, plazas, and what have you, estates. Please allow these men that have been commissioned by the council to have access to your property to carry out assessment of these properties. Like I earlier mentioned, this will help us to plan for 2025 in terms of amenities that will go to wear and what is needed in a particular area. The bylaws of this council gave us that power to do so and we will do it. The danger in you not allowing the professionals to come into your compound or your estate or wherever to assess what you have, you bear the brunt. Like I earlier said, the bylaw stated it very clear that in you not allowing the assessment to take place, you have committed an offense. And the bylaw stated very clear, which means the law will take its effect on you. But it does not end there. If you do not allow assessment of your property, what has been happening to Nigerians who have directly or indirectly not have prepared meter will happen to you. The field officer do not need to go into your house. They don't need to go into your house. All you need to do is allow them into the compound. Yes, they can do all their measurements, everything, picture, everything they need outside there, within the compound. They do not need to go into your bedroom or your sitting room to check for anything. They could ask you one or two questions, but they do not need to go into your apartment. So, please, if anyone asks you to take him or her into your apartment, please refuse. Our field officers are trained to take their data externally without going into the property.